Chapter 12 King Benjamin King Benjamin was a righteous Nephite king. With the help of other righteous men, he brought peace to the land. King Benjamin became old and wanted to talk to his people. He needed to tell them that his son, Mosiah, would be the next king. The people came from all over the land and gathered near the temple. They placed their tents so the doors faced the temple. King Benjamin spoke from a tower so the Nephites could hear him. He told his people that he had tried hard to serve them. He said the way to serve God is by serving one another. King Benjamin told the people to obey God's commandments. Those who faithfully keep the commandments will be happy and someday live with God. King Benjamin said Jesus Christ would soon be born on the earth. His mother's name would be Mary. Jesus would perform miracles. He would heal the sick and bring the dead back to life. He would make the blind see and the deaf hear. Jesus would suffer and die for the sins of all people. Those who repent and have faith in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins. King Benjamin told the Nephites that wicked men would whip Jesus. Then they would crucify him. After three days, Jesus would be resurrected. After King Benjamin spoke, the Nephites fell to the ground. They were sorry for their sins and wanted to repent. The people had faith in Jesus Christ, and they prayed to be forgiven. The Holy Ghost filled their hearts. They knew that God had forgiven them and that he loved them. They felt peace and joy. King Benjamin told his people to believe in God. He wanted them to know that God had created all things and that he is wise and powerful. King Benjamin told the people to be humble and pray every day. He wanted his people to always remember God and be faithful. He told the parents not to let their children fight or argue. He told them to teach their children to be obedient and to love and serve one another. He warned the people to be careful with what they thought, said, and did. They were to be faithful and keep the commandments for the rest of their lives. King Benjamin asked the people if they believed his teachings. They all said they did. The Holy Ghost had changed them, and they no longer wanted to sin. They all covenanted, or promised, to keep God's commandments. King Benjamin was pleased. King Benjamin gave his son, Mosiah, the right to be the new king. Three years later, King Benjamin died. Mosiah was a righteous king. He worked hard and served his people as his father had. Yeah.